Hello everyone, my name's Ashley, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a book haul. I know I'm not supposed to be doing book hauls, but um, in my last video you'll see that I unhauled a lot of books. I got rid of them, I took them down to Good Sammy's and I donated them to the Good Sammy's charity and I made the mistake of going to see what books they had for sale. Yeah. That is, um, that is something I did, and I am happy to say that I bought some. The books themselves were $2 each, or 6 for $10. So I only paid $18 for all 10 of these books, which is about the price of a regular book brand new. So I'm not complaining, I think I will be going to Good Sammy's a lot more often. These weren't the first two books that I got, but I will show them to you first, just because they're the smaller section and they are poetry books. I'm not usually a big fan of poetry. I thought that I should start reading more so I headed over to the poetry section and there wasn't that much but there was um, a treasury of favourite Australian poems and there was selected poems by A.B. Patterson. So I decided to pick up both of these because Australia and stuff like that and my mum has um, the entire collection of um, Banjo Patterson's poems downstairs and I would spend hours reading it when I was little, so I thought I would get some. And the very first one in it is a man, The Man from Snowy River, which is my favourite Banjo Patterson poem, so... I'm happy! So, literally the first book that I picked out when I headed into the book room section thing was this gorgeous edition of Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Now, I'm not a big classics reader, and I haven't actually read Pride and Prejudice all the way through, but I read it halfway through and I did enjoy it and I stopped reading it I think because I had to do something else. Um, but this one is beautiful and it was only two dollars so I was like you know what I'm gonna get it. It's too beautiful to be sitting on a shelf like that even though that's what it's going to be doing on my shelf. Another book I got was 10 Reasons Not to Fall in Love by Linda Green and this is the only book that I picked up that I've never heard of before. Um, so I thought that it, it sounded like the kind of thing that I'd be interested in, especially when the number one reason was I'd have to shave my legs even in winter and I hate shaving my legs so I think me and the protagonist of this book are gonna get along well. I also got Room by Emma Donoghue and I have wanted to read this for a long time, but I just haven't. I did not know that it was that old. Shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize 2010. That's a long time ago. Next I got We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves by Karen Joy Fowler. This was another Man Booker shortlist one, so I don't know what's going on there, but this was shortlisted in 2014, and this is about Rosemary, and she doesn't talk much, and that's... Well, I know, but I think I've heard good reviews on this. I've heard things about it. I just can't remember what they are. Next, I got Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. And the only reason I picked this one up was because I don't already own it and it fits in with the rest of my classics up here. Um, I... I do... I... I have a problem. Okay, we all know this. The next book I got was Etiquette and Espionage by Carol Carriger. And I did not expect to see this there. Then again I did see a lot of books there that I wouldn't have wouldn't expect to have seen. So I picked this one up. This is about a finishing school for young ladies and it teaches you how to also be an assassin and dude, dude, come on. I signed up a long time ago. I also picked up Signs Point to Yes by Sandy Hall. I read a little something different at the start of this year and I didn't enjoy it that much which is why I was hesitant to buy this one at full price. So when I saw it at Good Sammy's I was like I will buy that actually and I will see how it goes and then if I don't like it then that's fine. I don't, I won't feel bad. And the last book that I picked up from Good Sammy's was Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. It's not a genre that I normally read, but I thought, why not? I have heard brilliant things about it, so I thought I'd pick it up. Of course, it is currently June and I won't be able to read these books until September, but that is fine. All good. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you next time. Bye!